How's it going, everybody? Uh, Nick's in the uh, Pokemon Center, healing up his Pokemon. And uh, today we have a very special video, our first ever grading submission. As you guys know, we in life didn't get very good grades. That's why we're here. <laughs> but we're hoping for the better for our Pokemon today. Always wanted to get as high of a grade as you can. If we send these off, we're going to be hoping for it. We're, we're going to get a lot of chances, so maybe we'll get some tens, you know? I hope the we get at least 10. 110. At least 110. I'm excited to see what the lowest grade we get is. I want to see how low can we go. Can we make it down to one? I'm pretty sure we can get some relatively low grades. So we have we have a mixed submission here. So some of them are new cards. Some of them are older cards. These cards are all going to be graded through CGC, which is the way we're doing it uh, for a fast turnaround right now. Yeah, so we wanted a fast turnaround on these because, uh, I mean, they're probably not super valuable and also like you know we thought that they would look good in slabs and you know they could be available on our ebay for for everybody so uh so yeah so kicking it off here with the wabafet v full art nick there it is <laughs> what, <laughs> what was that <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. You have your green screen on. And that yeah, is a beautiful full art. I've never seen that Pokemon before. Yeah, yeah, great, uh, great headshot on it. You know, I really like how they accentuated the details of uh, of the Pokemon's face. You know, actually, it's, it's a trainer card. It's a trainer card. It can be a trainer card. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, next we got the uh, the Rainbow Rare uh, Alolan Executor GX. Uh, I think this one we got in Crimson Invasion. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through. There's there's a good fair number. I think about like 50 cards. So we're not gonna like go through the story of all of them. But um, for this one, I n never know how to pronounce this one. The Nihilego GX Rainbow. Um, then we got the Zerkatry GX, and these are these are pack fresh guys. Like the oh the new ones are. So I mean, we thought like you know they looked good. They'd probably get nines or tens. I mean. Maybe nine point five. I I don't know, but we we thought that they'd get really good grades. These ones, yeah. But, uh, I think I think they will. Um, we're we're really looking at centering. We're looking at you know those potential issues. Yeah, uh, mostly probably these these ones would be like off center. I think like we're gonna separately do like a PSA submission at some point for the cards that we thought would look better than these in terms of like centering and stuff like that um, yeah. or cards that were just like cooler and more valuable in general but yeah i'm just gonna keep going through these i don't have to announce all of them but like but yeah nick so how's life you know life is going all right i'm excited to get these cards back as you guys know uh brad and i are now in different parts of the world um so we cannot uh make our usual content so to fill the time we're grading our cards um, I'm excited for Shining Fates, unrelated to that. Um, I don't know if any of you other people here have had a delayed shipment to your GameStop pre-order. Um, but I think, <laughs> I think there's something deeper going on, to be honest. And um, I'd like to get to the bottom of it very soon. Figure out what they're yeah. hiding, you know? There's a big conspiracy going on. We know that, you know, the GameStop uh, short squeeze happened and then... Now they're they're holding our shining fates. Yeah, so like where did the value come from, right? It came exactly. from shining fates, possibly. Yeah, I think um, my my guess, if I had to guess, is that GameStop uh, is taking all longer with the packs because they're taking out all of the Charizards and then they're sending re, re shipping and repacking everything. They're taking it's all like, the shiny Charizard V Maxes. Yeah, it's just like a little like um, you know safety or um you know just to like make sure that they're okay if gamestop doesn't survive in the in the new world you know yeah they're, they're gonna corner the market they're gonna own all of the supply of charizards and then they're gonna extort all of us collectors uh, yeah from owning them that's crazy it's it's a it's a sustainable strategy too right because uh, gamestop is the biggest uh, <laughs> the most uh, prolific retailer right yes it is hey brad your um your camera, I'm just seeing your face uh like clipped out because of the green screen. Oh really? Yes. All right, let me fix that. How how about now? 
I can orient myself a little bit differently. But yeah, so, some of these, um, I mean, these are basically all full arts too. Um, I mean, some of them aren't. Like we got some promos in there. Uh, also like the Raichu GX from Hidden Fates. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, what does it mean to you to get your cards graded? What does it mean to me? To Getting you personally. Getting a card graded for me is... It's kind of a nerve-wracking experience because it, it does very much feel like I'm taking a test again. And, you know, as someone who's graduated quite recently, that anxiety I thought was far behind me. So I'm excited for it because I think like all of my children, these cards are going to do well. But at the same time, you know, you worry for them. What's going to happen during transit? Are they going to have any issues? Are they going to get into some bad habits on the way over? You know, what's going to be? What's going to come? Who are they going to meet on the school bus, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, they're getting shipped off. They're going to change. They're kind of like going to get into some more like little rigid boxes that they're going to stay in for the rest of their life. You know, it's very, um, it's a very metaphorical kind of coming of age for a card. And then they're going to get labeled and they're not going to be able to shake that forever. And it's just, it's just a little sad, I think. Bittersweet. It is bittersweet. So that's what it means to me. I know you were probably talking more like literally in the world of Pokemon, but I... No, that is the world of Pokemon. These cards, they meet other cards. They, you know, they force us to meet other people. You can see some crazy centering issues with this Raichu, by the way. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, it's just, it's all a learning experience. We're just trying to have our cards, you know, learn the most and get the highest grades. That's what it's all about in the event, at the end of the day. <laughs> It really is. Now, tell me, what out of these cards is your favorite one that we're sending in? Which one are you, like, most excited about? Well, there are a few cards from my personal collection, um, which I haven't shown yet. I'm just still on the modern cards. I just have one more left, um, this Galarian Curse of V. Um, but, yeah, so there are a few cards that we're very excited about um, that are on the more, like, vintage end of things. Three from my personal collection, and we're also – Continuing with that experiment from last time, um, you guys might remember that uh, that we purchased some single cards, uh, you know, from just an online site, and we wanted to see you know, what happens if we grade these cards. What kind of grades would they get? Um, so, so we have those ten cards here today in the slabs, uh, and so we're gonna we're gonna send those off and see what they get, you know, because the the site actually had like very like specific guidelines. They said you know, near mint cards, which these were all supposed to be near mint, they would come in as either like sevens, eights or nines. So we're going to see, you know, does that actually hold up? Um, do we get lucky and get some nines? That would be pretty cool. Um, do we get any tens? Probably not. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to run that experiment. And then also a few of the uh, uh, personal collection cards. Let me go through these. Um, yeah, so this is a, the Jolteon from Sky Ridge. We've seen that. We've seen these before, but just want to show that they're all here. Meganium from Expedition, Ninetales from Aquapolis, Alakazam from Expedition, Machamp Expedition, and then the Reverse Hollows. We got Clefable. That's probably the best condition card. Uh, Skarmory from Expedition. Also, the Clefable is from Expedition as well. You can see we have a preference for the E series, right? But um, Aquapolis, uh, Hypno. Uh, Tentacruel from Aquapolis and Togetic from Aquapolis. So those 10, we're sending them off. Um, we're going to see, you know, what grades did they get? Was it, uh, were they ridiculously priced? Uh, or are we going to get some value out of these? Yeah, I mean, these are mostly probably just for the personal collection. Maybe we'd list some of them uh, if we got duplicates or something. But, but yeah, just worth a, worth a look. And then there's... Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to see it. Um... Um, you know, well, what? Which one of them is your uh, like favorite? Which are you really hoping to get a good grade from? Honestly, I love this hypno. I just think that the artwork is super dark. Uh, I th you've seen it before, if you remember. It's yes. the one where he's eating the dream of like the the kid who is sitting at the desk. Mm -hmm. I just feel like if we could get a good grade in this one, that would be really cool. I mean, yeah. even just like an eights in these would be amazing. Um, just having like picked them up online and whatnot. But yeah, and I'm then there's studying. three. There's there's only three more cards. So there's three cards from my you know childhood ish, 
you know, I think I probably traded for these. I don't think I actually ever ended up opening any of these packs before. But um, but there's a Dark Blastoise from uh, Team Rocket Unlimited. And the, the reason, like, these ones we were going to send off to CGC or I was going to send off to CGC is because, like, they're not really in great condition, but it would be really cool to have them slabbed, like, put in the, um, in the you know, plastic things. So there's the Dark Blastoise. You can see it's pretty, pretty beat up, but, you know, some memories in that card. Um, we got the Hollow Hitmon Top from Neo Discovery. That one's not in horrible shape. But I mean, the back, you know, I, I don't imagine these would get good grades, just like Nick and me, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> that's why we're attached to them. This one's the personal favorite. I wish you could see it, honestly. But the Dark Crobat from Neo Destiny. I'm sure you've seen that at some point, the Hollow. Yeah. Neo, Neo Destiny is such a rare set. And I don't know how I ended up getting this ever. But, um, but yeah, no, just a really cool card. I've always loved it. I, I think I must have traded a lot of these ones, like, I started collecting after the Neo Neo era. So um, like a lot of these I would have had to trade for with other people because the packs weren't necessarily like readily available at that time. But yeah, so that's the, that's the last card. There it but is. Yeah. That's the haul. I'm excited. So we're going to send these all off. What are we doing it through? Are we sending them? We're just sending them direct. So we're going to sign up for one of their memberships um, and send off send off all of these, you know, 50 something, maybe whoever was counting, kudos to you. But, um, but yeah, just, we're going to send these off, you know, through the regular direct service. So, yeah. So we'll, we'll update you guys. We're going to have a video when they come back. Uh, that's probably going to be a while. So you'll be hearing from us in the meantime. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm very excited to see these. Thank you for, for showing them today. For sure. Yeah. Lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of exciting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Listen, I hope you feel better and I hope your Pokemon feel better. You know, thank you. You're in the Pokemon center. We're recovering right now, but I'm hoping we can, uh, we can pull through, you know? Good, good. You better, you better just, you know, there's no, there's no dying. Isn't an option. It's just fainting at this point. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, that's the worst that happens in the Pokemon world. I'm, I'm totally fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for, for tuning in uh, today. We've been collector. Edwin. Edwin. Sorry, I was <laughs> supposed to be in unison, but... And you've been an amazing guest.